Mm -hmm. It's pizza. <laughs> Watch how I'm about to turn this into a cheesy pepperoni pizza. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a fresh head of cauliflower and we're just gonna take off as much as we can without taking out the core. Now what I'm gonna do is just cut straight through so that we're able to place it flat. So I'm cutting a little corner of it just so that we have a flat edge and we're gonna cut about one inch thick steaks. These here will be a little bigger. Okay, so this is our goal here. This is just one of the steaks. Um, you wanna cut very carefully just so that it doesn't crumble. If it does, don't worry. I'm gonna show you what you can do with those pieces right now. Okay, so I'm gonna set the leftover cauliflower to the side. One of my favorite things to make with this is my crispy cauliflower. So if you guys want that recipe, let me know and I'll get on it. Okay, so here we have our baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Now we're gonna go ahead and place our cauliflower steaks. I'm actually gonna make two batches because these turned out really big. Um, we're just gonna spray some avocado oil and then we are going to season it. So this is actually just pretty plain seasoning, just a little salt because it is a pepperoni pizza. So salt and pepper. Okay. And you can of course add any additional seasonings, but we're gonna keep it pretty basic. Do salt and pepper on both sides. So now let's just turn it over and we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, and this is all done. Now we're gonna place them into the oven at 350 degrees. Make sure that your oven is preheated because the last thing you wanna do is have everything set up and then just still have to wait for it to preheat. And we're gonna bake these for about 10 to 15 minutes. The core is definitely not ready at all because you want it to at least be biteable. Okay, so we just got them out of the oven. Now, I ended up cooking mine for about 20 minutes because we were doing 350 degrees, but you can cook it a little quicker by um, bumping up your oven to about 375 and then you can cook it between 10 to 15 minutes. But they turned out perfect. They are fork tender. Um, and now we're just gonna top it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, typically you would first put your um, pizza sauce, but there are little little like crevices here. So what we're gonna do is place our pepperoni first, just so that it doesn't sink down. So it kind of gives it like a base little layer and you have more protein. Okay, so let's do that really quickly on both. Now we have our pizza sauce and I like to get like an unsweetened pizza sauce just because you don't need that additional sugar and it's still delicious and just healthier for you. And now let's just go ahead and spread that. See, so now you have like a good little layer, base layer there. Okay, so now we have our mozzarella. We're just gonna do a thin layer because we are going to add additional pepperoni. So it's kind of like a layered, you know, layered deal here. And of course, you're gonna eat it, so you're just going to add as much or as little as you want. So then we're gonna top it off with a little more cheese because it looks really pretty when the cheese melts over the pepperoni. And I cannot wait for you guys to see this when it's done. You guys are going to be obsessed. And guys, I know it's hard to find pizza crust alternatives, so I really hope you enjoy this recipe. All right, guys, so this is looking beautiful. Now what we're gonna do is broil this just to get it nice and cheesy and melty, and I cannot wait for you guys to see the final product. Oh my gosh, it looks beautiful. Gonna top it off with a little parsley to give it that beautiful green contrast. All right guys, so we're going right into the taste test. This turned out beautiful. I love the layering. This is actually the first time I layered it and you have to, you have to layer it when you make it. So let's just try it out. Mm. 
Okay. Guys, this tastes like pizza. Okay, the layering really adds the, like that depth that you need. The crust, you can't tell that it's cauliflower, one. So just to get that, I know that you guys are probably wondering like, can you taste the cauliflower? No, it's like the textures all work well together. You're going to be obsessed with this. Not only that, but it makes you feel good because you're having like cauliflower instead of like bread and you can't tell. Mm -hmm. It's pizza. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm gonna leave the recipe linked in the description below. If you like this video, hit that like button, share with friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle. Guys, thanks again for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.